Hi everyone, this is Amin and in this video I would like to talk about BSS Color. It is a feature in Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11 AX. So for that reason, what do we need? I do need kind of AP, which supports uh, AX technology. Uh, it's a raw cost AP. It needs PA plus. So for that reason, I do have that raw cost switch here. I'm gonna use this one as the PA to turn the AP on and show it to you on Wi-Fi Explorer. Uh, what is the bss color here however before showing that thing you should uh, get to know what is bss color so first of all uh let's know it let's learn it then see it on wi-fi explorer by the time you are done with the video uh, you will know what bss color is if you want to know that it's good to just review the previous stuff collision avoidance we know wi-fi uses radio frequency in half duplex medium what does this mean it means only one radio can transmit on a frequency domain at any given time so just one radio like for uplink and then downlink it's half duplex and only one video what will happen if all people in a like in a room or in big, big area they, they talk if everyone talks so no one will listen and what will happen collision no one will understand what do we need csmaca kerosene multiple access collision avoidance so far we are just reviewing and uh, we know that concept from previous videos i have a video i'm gonna put the link uh, below this video about dcf hcf pcf you will you will read it you will watch it a radio detects signal threshold of just 4 dB higher than noise floor. I mean, 4 dB at least, and then they defer our, their transmission. And it it is what will will cause uh, CSMACA, collision avoidance. So far, so good. Everything is good. But imagine like an area with like, like high density, many users. And if they want to do that, what do we have? We have contention overhead. Even though the contention mechanism is the thing that helps to avoid collision. However, we have collision uh, overhead when we have a lot of users. Contention overhead. When we have too many APs in an area, we have that unnecessary contention overhead. Clients hear each other on the same channel, which is uh, called OBSS. We have overlapping basic service sets. And also we call it uh, co-channel interference. Look at this picture. Here we have one AP here and the other AP here. We can say uh, when, let, let's call this one AP number one. If AP number one is in channel one, which is here, uh, it hears preamble transmissions of nearby AP, which AP number two. So two APs in the same channel working and they are nearby so if this one if this one hears preamble transmission from the other one and this one is transmitting at the same time so ap number one will differ and cannot transmit at the same time i mean they, they are they are, are separated but they are in the same channel so one on the other side is transmitting the other one will stop will defer the transmission I mean, likewise, all clients associated to AP number one must uh, also defer transmission if they hear preambles from AP number two. And this is the problem. This is the thing. And uh, what will happen here, it uh, uses like the airtime and it is what's not good. It is what we call it OBSS. We say due to the mobile nature of Wi-Fi stations, OBSS interference, is not a static oh it's a problem it's not a static it changes and uh, how it changes as clients client devices uh, as they move it changes it, it can i mean it get worse or get better but uh you, i mean you cannot rely on, on like the statistics we say obss uh it creates medium contention overhead and consumes valuable airtime because you have two basic service sets on the same channel that can hear each other. 
look at here this is the user so this user i mean since this one uh wants to move towards the other one even though there is something like roaming or even there is a there's an, on the edge of like the border of 2bss when it comes here it still preambles from the other bss uh can be here or like like i mean vice versa it moves and it's still the same channel so we have that uh, cci co-channel interference what is the solution bss coloring what is bss coloring some method for addressing medium contention overhead how it is uh, in reality actually it's not a color it's just a number like an identifier but we can, to have something like illustration we call it color but it's not a color and it is like that wi-fi 6 radios are able to differentiate between different bss so if in the previous case they are actually they are in 2.4 let's say just i don't know numbers in uh, channels of uh, 5 gigahertz if this one is working on channel uh, 149 and this one also is working on channel 149 since bss color of this one is yellow and bss color of this one is blue it may hear from the other one but it checks okay the bss color is not what i'm uh, associated with so i'm not gonna listen i'm, I'm not gonna defer or stop my communication why because i can differentiate between the bss colors and how it is it is like that. you have your bss and this is the overlapping and this one is here so we have a concept intra bss and inter bss like, like as i said for differentiate we can say the inter intra bss those two in the same bss are intra bss so if the color is the same then the frame considered uh, as an intra bss okay so they check and the, they see okay the color is the same it is intra bss let's uh not to cause collision let's uh, stop let's defer but here these two same channel different bss it is inter bss and the color is different since the color is different they're not going to defer their communication it is the concept of bss coloring and it's a help and finally in my house i, I have that rockos network that i showed you this is the signal and as you can see it, it's working on ax and in wi-fi 6 this is the channel 149 this is the channel width also if you come here we'll see it. bss color is a number i mean it's not uh, just like a color blue yellow. It's it's kind of illustration and visualization to get the concept better. And yep, that's it. It is what I wanted to tell you. I have one video to show you how to uh, configure Rockus AP. I'm gonna put it in, put the link below. Also about uh, CSMA. I hope I was able to help you. If you like my video, just uh, show me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay safe and bye everyone.